Four little children and their didi are playing in a garden. Let us see what game they are playing. Didi said, The plant fairy asks you to touch a plant. At once, all the children ran towards the plants and touched them. Next, Didi said, The plant fairy asks you to touch a tree which has either a thick or a thin trunk. The children ran again to touch the trees. The game went on like this, where the plant fairy will call out the name of something and all have to run and touch it. The children loved the game and all wanted to become the plant fairy. And so they did. During the game, the children noticed that all the plants are different from one another. The trunks, leaves, stems are all different. Let us learn about some of the differences in plants in our lesson, The Plant Fairy. Plants are living things that breathe, grow and prepare their own food. They cannot move around like animals. Plants are very useful to us. We get oxygen to breathe, food to eat, medicines, wood and much more from plants. Animals also depend on plants for their food and shelter. A typical plant contains two main parts, the roots and the stem. From the stem come the leaves, flowers and fruits. Each part of the plant has a special job to do. The roots are underground parts of the plant which absorb water and nutrients from the soil. The stem then transports this water and nutrients to all the other parts of the plant. This stem can be either thick or thin. Leaves prepare the food for the plant. Have you ever seen a leaf cooking? Oh no! Plants don't prepare food like how we do in the kitchen. But the leaves use sunlight, air, water and nutrients to prepare a special type of food inside the leaf. Leaves of different plants are different in color, shape, size and margins. Look at these leaves. Can you spot the differences? Green colored leaves have a special substance called chlorophyll in them. This chlorophyll gives them their green color. Flower is the colorful part of the plant. Did you know that fruits and seeds come from the flower of the plant? Look at how flowers give rise to fruits. The seeds that are inside the fruit then give rise to new plants. Isn't it wonderful? Well, today we have learnt that plants are living things. They give us oxygen, food, medicine, wood and so on. Plants have different parts that perform different functions that help them to grow. In our next lesson, we will learn different types of plants. Thank you and see you next time.